Okay, camera one, two. Nice. Let's go. Oh god, that's going to be awful, but hey. <laughs> hey, welcome back to a new video. It's been two weeks. I really didn't plan to be now inactive for two weeks, but that's why let's directly start with the video. So today I want to show a little bit how I create atmosphere in my tracks and how I achieve it that my tracks are evolving over the playtime. Today on my example on an upcoming track that I'm gonna release next week, Hubble, there you can you can see it here so i just want to go through the different instruments and the different stuff that is necessary when you want to create atmosphere that's why let's jump directly into the sample for the sample i used a guitar sample that i found this is the sample So very atmospheric, you get a specific feeling and that is really the most important part that it directly hooks you right at the moment it starts to play. So then I have taken the sample and put it like one octave up. So very quiet, very high and stuff. And then I added uh, some EQ, uh, some reverb, then of course some OTT because you have to add that OTT compressor and then of course sound good size because why not and then a paramedic eq just to remove some of the highs and some of the lows so then the third sample it's supposed to act a little bit like a bass so for example like this on this i had added a little bit of imager just to make the sample a little bit more mono so with This is without. Then of course a little bit of fruity bass boost, OTT saturation. This especially is a very good plugin. It's from Softube, the saturation knob, and it's for free. And I like it when it's for free <laughs> because I don't have that much money. <laughs> and then of course uh, a little bit of EQ to cut out the highs so it doesn't interrupt itself with the other samples. That's why the sample part sounds like this. So you're directly thrown into the track and it just is so appealing to the ear that you have so much going on right at the beginning. Then we come to the piano. Why do I pronounce stuff that weird? Don't ask me. <laughs> so I figured out the chords, which were basic stuff, okay? just to introduce the chords and the chord progression. Then comes my favorite instrument, the pad. Not the pad, I mean the pad. So I just copied the chords and I have here two instruments. One is the Sawyer, Sawyer. Without any effects, this thing sounds like this. Then I added some effects on it. So for example, the OTT, of course, the parametric EQ and the saturation knob, just to gain more of this nice sound, a little bit more through the mix. Uh, and then I've added this pink thing here. And it's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool. And it has not a melodical purpose or something like that. It's just there to fill actually the space for the track. So how I made this without any effects, it sounds like this. To achieve that specific sound, I have, of course, added the OTT, fast distortion, just that you have a little bit more crispiness in the sound. Then, of course, uh, the parametric EQ. Then, uh, like, a, like a little trick for that, I have added a huge uh, reverb, but the reverb, I actually decreased the dry level, and you can just uh, hear the reflection and the wetness. 
so that's why the sound isn't directly punching through the mix it's more like in the in the behind behind this it's more you just hear the wetness it's just uh, like in the room and it just creates this nice atmosphere and feels so so, so wide and not so narrow Altogether, the pad sounds like this. The next thing I have added, but are not actually necessary for every track, are the vocal ambience. What do I actually mean with that? With vocal ambience, I just mean when you have like a vocal chop sample or just a good sound library with a lot of reverb, so it creates a little bit like a pad or something like this, or you just get this airy sound. And this is what I add here. Also, for example, I have like a, a whoosh, it's more like a fairy. And then it's up to you to add a little bit of strings. For the strings I use the free library Labs from Spitfire Audio. And just those two notes are like... Then totally normal, I've added some percussion elements. So for example here, it really goes on and on. Ah, nice. And then I have a last tip for you to create atmosphere. The evolving kick. So with the evolving kick, I actually mean that you have a four on the floor kick that is constantly playing in the tempo of your song. It's not boomy or something like this, just a normal kick. As you can see here, I have like a low pass filter on it. This is linked to this automation clip here. At the beginning, you can just hear this clicking thing, okay? So you kind of know where the tempo is. But then it evolves to this full kick and this creates such a movement. You can, for example, listen to this in Afterlife. Thanks for watching, I hope you had a little bit of fun and you stay at home, stay healthy, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, have a nice week, bye bye.